Hello guys, um, I'm back, uh, Modified Life 777. I'm here to show you today uh, an island that I've built recently. I did this in 8 hours by the way, or total of 9 hours maybe. Uh, this is a perfectly built um, gearbox island. So if you need gearbox, this is the best uh, option you can go for. I calculated it right. So. Um, here you have the the copper rods going on like uh, twin twin copper islands joined in by both of them have two smelters with the filter conveyor two smelters two machines going on since you maybe know already that the smelters on copper go faster like on iron and uh, since it's faster uh, the the machines start to clog up so like this it doesn't clog up and stays running smoothly i put another one on there to be sure so i have three and here we have the masterpiece so this is a calculated um v-shaped custom built farm why it's custom built all right it is custom built because i created it or someone else created it no problem but i did it so this is um you know about the rs 3.0 gearbox farm yeah so the rs 3.0 gearbox farm is quite good but i would i wanted something nicer i did the same middle of the rs 3.0 exactly the same metal so the top uh the one two three four five all the five layers in the middle are completely rs exactly as the rs nothing is different but the difference is instead of having three or four rs shaped um method uh mills with smelters shooting in different steel presses i did all of those in a v-shaped staircase and added the same amount on each side of the outer v-shaped staircase so it is double the amount of the rs and it's very effective very fast and um, it has to be the same like I told you before by itself as you see on the island with nothing else to be the more efficient as possible now we're gonna go there and see it from uh, nearby okay just to give you an idea this is one side of the tower you have the v-shaped staircase with all the steel mills shooting from the side to the interior they are all so half of the middle half of the middle is and the side ones are all shooting in the same steel mill it is quite fast right now it's going on for about two hours i think it's already this side is two and almost three so about two hours maybe two and a half uh there is the this side already with three chests passing in for like you see it is look at it it goes in quite fast and we have the other side that we can see from here and this is the plate side the plate side as well is exactly fast as the other side all right the plates take more than the bolts to be created but if you see the numbers um you can understand how fast this thing is all right now we go up to check out so i show you what is happening exactly in the middle okay if you see it 
like this you can see the rs based metal all right exactly like the rs uh, mind you this is not upgraded so as it is it is fast and it is good and it is not upgraded so if you would need to upgrade your totems to help out you can but it's optional you know it doesn't make really a lot of difference it helps a bit the the iron to be created faster but that's it because once the mill is working and has already been working on one iron if you add 20 other iron on it it will still go the same speed so it will not make any difference to the farm whatsoever so um uh, don't uh, waste materials on the upgrades just add more machines it works better all right if you can see maybe like this here you have the rs top middle under middle and bottom all of it working simultaneously nicely and all shooting in the same staircase okay you can say uh the rs is it the rs is perfect i love it uh i always uh tell people that the rs is very good but i as always as i say i would like to spend less time waiting for the materials to be created so i want to get richer faster example or something like that um you can but you need to make a different design if you want that if you want to go stylish and um like complex you can go for the rs and if you want to go um not very for maybe very stylish i like it the v shaped but uh, there is a lot of other methods that you can do this um but this the this method i found that this is the most efficient and the less difficult to create uh, but you can use other methods it's no problem and like this as you see i always use only one iron and one coal so don't add the, the second iron to each smelter because you'll have too much then running on top of each other as i said you can upgrade both of the iron totem and the coal totem that is hitting the smelter but after like 10 minutes of working you will start seeing that the coal is overrunning so you don't need to upgrade it uh, you just need to upgrade to level maybe 10 the iron if you would want it to go any faster than this okay guys this was a good a good farm now uh for today is that's another one i will show you more different ones that i'm building um these all have their own purpose depending on what you need always ask if you need help and even if you would like uh to ask or to tell me to help you build it or to build it for you no problem just invite me uh, um, and that's it we we can work it out no problem have fun building guys i would love to see more faces uh, showing up as well i have already some work rolled up um, if you would like any help on anything uh, where I can help, uh, you are always welcome to ask. Modified Life 777 from here. Thank you. Please uh, like and subscribe if it's possible always. Uh, I appreciate all your help and attention. Good day.